My name is Dick Jankowski. I don't announce girls' basketball, women's basketball, but I sure love what they do. I announce men's basketball and baseball at the University of Minnesota, but love this program and the coaches and all the athletes, and so I'm very happy to talk about another year coming up in women's basketball. Pam Morton. I remember the first time we met. Do you remember? Johnny Marshall, Minnesota. I sure do. Marshall, Minnesota. I will never forget that day. You were recruiting Shannon Bolden. Yeah, I sure was. I was down uh, having dinner with her family and, and uh, down making a parents in Marshall. That's a lot of fun. All right, coming up a big year. And uh, how many years now is this for you as head coach? I am going into my ninth season at the University of Minnesota. How about the nine years? forward to a big year. One thing I want to mention, you lost the five seniors to graduation, so it's kind of a, a younger team, I imagine. Uh, what do we look for this year, though, as far as uh, not a lot of experience, but what can we look for uh, as far as your squad is concerned? Well, I think, uh, you know, nothing's changed from our expectations from this program. I think we've got uh, very good leaders on this team. Um, we've got three starters returning in Jackie Voigt, Kiara Buford, and uh, China Antoine. We do have a lot of players that uh, haven't had a lot of playing time. We've got a very talented freshman class, but we as a coaching staff are very, very excited about this team. Um, they're very focused. They're very invested. They've had great summers. They've gotten better. And we're really excited as coaches about this basketball team and the best is yet to come. That's nice to hear. I'll tell you what's great. Now you have some of your assistants. In fact, you have a new assistant, I understand. I'll let you introduce them if, if you would. I will. My coaches, uh, uh, I've got one back here mingling with the boosters over here is uh, Coach Smith. She's always working a room. She's over here in the middle of all the boosters and the fans, and she's working it. She's good at it. Over here on the side, uh, um, I've got uh, Coach Reverso. He's been with me for a number of years. Coach Lloyd, he's the rookie on the staff. Uh, Coach Lloyd, give everybody a wave. But we have a great staff. I've got one of the best staffs in the country, and uh, we work very well together, and we're ready to go and get on the basketball court. Looking forward to it. Of course, I was at this question I was supposed to ask about the uh, Baylor, Baylor situation coming out of that Final Four appearance. And they feature the six foot eight All American Brittany Grinder. The question that I was supposed to ask, who's going to block her shot first? Do you have any idea? I don't think anybody's going to block her shot. So we're going to try not to let her block any of our shots. Um, I think, you know, playing against a 6'8", uh, very, very athletic um, phenom like her, she's a very special player, and there's only one of those in the entire country. So um, we're looking forward to the opportunity to play a team that, that uh, made an appearance in the Final Four last year. We're excited about it. It's a great opportunity. And, um, you know, we'll see. Big Ten Conference, a lot of big, a lot of strength. Nine teams, I think, were postseason, if I'm not mistaken. And every year the Big Ten is strong. And uh, Ohio State's got everybody back. Iowa's got everybody back. Um, there's been, at, I would say, 80% of the schools in the Big Ten have, have had kids transfer out of their programs, and some of them were starters and significant players. Um, we're, we're looking forward to it. It's a battle every night, and if you don't bring your A game on every single Big Ten uh, game, it's uh, it's going to be a long night. So we're excited. We've got a tough non-conference schedule, not just the Big Ten. Both. This is probably one of the toughest schedules we've had. Um, we open the season with our uh, Best Buy Classic. Best Buy is sponsoring our, our home opener um, with two games. So we'd like to thank Best Buy for all their support for our program. We have uh, a BCS challenge. Uh, we will be playing Pittsburgh at home. And there's only two schools out of all the BCS conferences. And there's six BCS conferences. And Minnesota was one of the schools that was chosen. And we're also hosting. So we feel very good about being able to host the first BCS challenge against Pittsburgh. Um, and then our, uh, the rest of our non-conference schedule are Subway Classic and uh, Baylor. We got Virginia Tech at home. It's, um, it's, it's tough. So we're going to be playing teams that are like the Big Ten caliber teams in the non-conference. So we've got to be ready to go and we will be. Now I understand after we're done here, <laughs> You're going to be venturing off to eat Cajun season alligator, alligator sausage on a stick. Are you prepared for that? I sure am. Are you really? I sure am. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I grew up on a farm in Ohio. 
and when you grew up on a farm and you're a farm girl, how many of you grew up on a farm? Well, there's a lot of strange things you eat growing up if you live on a farm, right? You know what I'm talking about. So, but all the players here are going to at least sample it with me. So we're all in this together. So I'm looking forward to it. Kiara. Kiara. Is Kiara, did Kiara get stuck by a bee? One of your girls just got stuck by a bee, right? Who was it? You did, Jackie. Are you okay? All right, glad to hear it. That's great.